are really beginning to slow down here. Oh, well, instead of you coming over here, why don't I see if I can pinch a bottle of champagne and I'll bring it over to your place and we can have a nightcap. I am exhausted. The baby has been driving me nuts all night and two bottles of champagne aren't going to help that. Raven, this is the third phone conversation we've had this evening, and each one is getting more unsatisfactory. We cannot get together tonight. Don't you understand? Look, it, it, the evening has started off bad from the beginning with a drunk babysitter. Look, it's only midnight. That is the shank of the evening for both of us. Well, I'm almost in bed. All right. I won't trouble you. Pleasant dream. Good night. Well, good night. Cliff, don't you think it's time for you to go home now? No, you want the coast clear so you can phone this in for the morning headlines? <sighs> Will you stop making such a fuss? How many times do I have to tell you that nobody's going to know that you told me that Draper had an autopsy? We've been over this a thousand times. Nobody will know. Hey, they'll know. They'll know. They'll, they'll just take one look at me and they'll know. Maybe I can take my vacation. Nice long one. Oh, my God. Tomorrow morning. What about tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning, I gotta meet with Logan in his office. How am I gonna face him, huh? What if he asked me what I did last night? What, what am I gonna tell him? Tell him you had a date with his wife. Oh, yeah, he'll love that. Wait a minute, did I tell him I was coming here? Yeah, I did, about the custody suit. Oh, I didn't, man. I can't remember. I'm in no condition to remember anything. Oh, what's the difference? Logan will know. He'll know. He'll just look at me and I'll know I'm the one that spilled the beans. Cliff, don't be so stupid. Hey, look, Logan will kill me when he finds out. Worse than that, Mike Carr will fire me. No, look, you gotta promise me you won't tell a soul about this. Oh, sure. Oh, boy, you'll never keep that promise. <laughs> at least, please, don't tell anyone that you know who told you. Uh, Cliff. Look, come on. You gotta swear to me you're not gonna tell anyone who told you. Cliff. Do you have a Bible around here? Cliff, what you got? Oh, come on, do you have a Bible around here? I'm not leaving here until you promise me you're not gonna tell who... Now, raise your hand. No. Raise your right hand. Come on. I swear. I swear. I swear on my mother's life. Come on. I swear on my mother's life. I swear oh. on my mother's life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cliff. It's just that you don't know how funny that is. This is it, honey. Say goodbye. This is the last time you're going to see this handsome face. Come on, Cliff. You're not leaving town. No, but I think Logan will pay somebody to rearrange these classic features when he finds out what I've done. What do I have to do to reassure you? You haven't done anything. You haven't even told me anything. Yeah, I told you everything I know. But you don't know anything firsthand, do you? You know, you're right. This is all hearsay evidence. Right. I mean, I, I wasn't at the police station, and I didn't read the autopsy report, and I wasn't there when they found out that it was the wrong guy. All this evidence would be inadmissible in court. You see? So what are you worried about? Logan, tomorrow. Oh, Cliff. Hey, when you see Logan, give him my love. Huh? Hey, just keep your mouth shut. All right. Now I'm going to find out if this is true. Well, you better dial 911. No, I need a policeman, and I want it to be you, Derek. Raven. Hello. It's a little late for social calls. Are you in bed? Practically. Alone? Yes, Raven, I'm alone. Oh, darling. I don't even have a babysitter. Well, I guess we'll just have to talk nasty over the phone. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. You wouldn't be calling me at this hour unless you wanted something from me. What is it? You are the most suspicious man I've ever met, but you're also the sexiest, and you're also right. I uh, have wanted to hear your voice all night, and so I just found an excuse to call you. I'm listening. Well, you see, I heard a little rumor, and I thought perhaps you might know something about it. What rumor was that? That Draper Scott is still alive. <laughs> Where did you hear such a thing as that? I have a very good source. Look, I know there was an autopsy, so don't try to deny anything to me. Now, look, whatever you heard was obviously a gross distortion and exaggeration of the facts. Now, there may have been some question about the identification of the corpse. So it's true. It's true. He may still be alive. Damn you, Raven, you're a hassle. Look, there's at least a half a dozen bodies unaccounted for. Scott's obviously one of them. Is it also true that Logan knows about it and he won't tell April? He can't tell her anything. 
Not without raising a lot of pointless hopes. And don't you go spreading any rumors around either. Do you understand me? I admit the truth. It's more than a rumor. Logan just doesn't want to say anything because he doesn't want to destroy his budding romance. I don't want to talk about this matter anymore. And if you take my advice, neither will you. All right, all right. I know he's not in love with a little bleach blonde, but I know that he needs her for his custody battle. And he will... Now, look, I don't know what you think you heard. But whatever it is, drop it. Could you hold on for a second? I have to answer the door. <laughs> Can't you take no for an answer? You're not in a position anymore, Raven, to say no. Another couple of minutes and I would have been in bed. Well, that's funny. The last time we spoke, you said you were in bed. I was expecting to find you in dreamland by now. That's not what you were expecting. You were expecting to find me with another man. Do you really think I would have enjoyed that? Yes. Because it would have justified your ridiculous jealousies. Come on, Raven. No, it's true. I'm not supposed to care if I, I find you with another woman. I've seen the way you eye all those little waitresses at the unicorn. Don't change the subject. That has nothing to do with what we're discussing. It's a pretty nice outfit to stay at home and watch the baby with. Well, I got dressed up for you to come, and then the, the babysitter came drunk, and I couldn't go. That was hours ago. You meant to tell me you were taking care of the baby in that outfit? So what's wrong with me dressing up for my son? Drinking alone again? Why didn't you bring the lie detector? Raven, do I have to remind you? No, you don't have to remind me. I know what you're going to say, the letter that you're blackmailing me with. Well, that's sweet. I wasn't going to talk about the letter. Because I want you to love me for myself, not for my blackmail. You are the only man for me. If I were the marrying kind... You are married. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. I've been married twice and I messed it up both times. And you certainly wouldn't want to be pinned down by marriage now, would you? I would like to pin you down. <laughs> Just like a butterfly? That's what you like sometimes. Well, right now I'm a very tired butterfly. Jamie was an absolute beast tonight. <laughs> Maybe you won't be able to go through with your million-dollar scheme. Maybe you won't be able to stand being the doting mother until your own mama goes to her heavenly reward. Oh, I'll be able to stand it, because I'm going to win that custody trial. I have to, so that I can have Jamie when he gets his inheritance. I think it's going to be as easy as that. Your husband may not know much about women, but uh, he knows his law. Well, he has an advantage. He has a witness, but um, I don't know how long he'll have her. What makes you think so? I'm an eternal optimist. I'm also a very tired optimist. Well, I'm going to take a walk by the river. Will you hand me the phone before you go? Why? Well, I was thinking of taking a swim tomorrow, and I'm going to call the weatherman. Weatherman. <laughs> April, this is Raven. Look, I'm very sorry to wake you, but it's important that I see you as soon as possible. I would like to come over first thing tomorrow. I have the most important piece of information that you have ever heard in your life. This is Marlo Thomas. Nobody traps a man better than Raven, even if he belongs to somebody else. Well, move over, Raven. I've got some things to say about love, sex, and marriage tonight.